Hey guys, what's good? And welcome to Amanda the Adventurer 2, the demo. The devs will always release a demo before the official game comes out, and I think it's a brilliant way to get a feel of how the game would be. Okay, initially for this intro, I wanted to run you guys through what this game is all about, but I'm distracted by the- Oh, hell no! Tell me you guys saw that. I want to be wrong so badly, but that kind of looked like flesh to me. Oh, wow. Okay, and there's a code. That was definitely a code, but that was way too fast for me to absorb anything. So, so far we saw kind of like a face in the beginning, and then we saw raw flesh? And then there was a code? I don't know if any of that is useful for the demo. Okay, and I hope you guys are wearing headphones because the song is going crazy right now. <gasps> oh my god. If there's gonna be a jump scare in the main menu, I'm out. Okay. Wow, that was that was a lot to take in, and that was just the main menu. We haven't even gotten started, so okay, yeah, now it's going in a loop. Um, I don't want to see it anymore, so let's just dive right into the game, shall we? What kind of place is this? Okay, so for those who are new here or have never heard of this game, I'll give you a quick rundown while I find my bearings. What we're playing now is a horror game set in the 90s. The basic premise is that we watch and interact with VHS tapes starring Amanda in her show, Amanda the Adventurer. It's a show for kids, obviously, but the lore is so much more in-depth and complex, like, I, I can't even begin to explain everything in a nutshell, so I seriously suggest you guys check out my past videos covering this game. There's a playlist available on my channel and I'll have it linked in the description. Trust me, it's worth it. That being said, if you guys are all caught up to speed, we can finally focus on what's in front of us right now and we seem to have a code? Can we input that into the computer? Oh wait, hold on. So there's a note and it says, Hey Margaret! Found an odd tape in Book Returns. Haven't looked into it myself, but I was hoping you could take a look at it when you can. It's in the locked cabinet. You remember the code, right? Also, you might need to take a look at some of the books. I've been told some of them have been tampered with. I swear this is like the fifth one this week. I had put them aside for you, but I think the new guy accidentally put them back into the library without looking. I hate to ask, but if you got a moment, could you look around the library and see if you can find them? There should be a history of these books in the library database, so use that to help you out in finding them. Don't stay up too late. Have a good night. Sophie. Okay, so Sophie and Margaret are the librarians, I suppose? But wasn't Aunt Kate a librarian? Or she used to come and read to the kids in the library? I don't know, I kind of forgot the lore, but we gotta find some books. Oh, hang on. There's more back here. Suspicious book on the floor. Can I... Can I pick it up? Oh, wait, I forgot you can crouch in this game, but you can't sprint. Alright, got it. But this book is empty, though. So, this is probably not the book that we need since we're supposed to be looking for books that have been tampered with such as the first one with the code in it, or part of the code at least. We'll keep it here in the meantime. There we go, that's the book we need. Okay, so this one has a code in it, CE5. You know what, I'm just gonna keep it on the table for safekeeping, I do not want to lose it. In the meantime, we're gonna look for other books that have also been tampered with. Oh, there's one on the floor, I completely missed that. I was a teenage. <laughs> I was a teenage teenager. Oh, too bad the book is useless though. Aww. Low key best title ever, I'm just saying. Okay, I'm just gonna ask the question that's on everybody's minds right now. Why are we investigating the library in the middle of the night? Out of all the 24 hours in a day, why do we specifically choose to investigate the library when the whole world is asleep? I'm just saying that this is the time where demons come out and we are the only ones in the library. I am just throwing it out there, I know everybody's thinking the same thing, so I hope we get more context in the full release as to why we're doing this at night, cause it just, it just don't make sense. Okay that sounded like it came from the vents, but not once have I noticed that there were any vents at all so I'm not gonna F around and look at the ceiling or the walls because I might see something that I don't want to see so we're just gonna collectively agree that we didn't hear that okay we're just gonna proceed with cracking the code um, okay there's a book down here this was number five 
So we have five and we have six, five, six, and the last number was eight. There was another number in between. I think it was three. Oh man, that's the other book. Okay, never mind. I'm pretty darn sure it was three. So let's try six, five, three, eight. And let's see if that works. Does not work. Okay. How about maybe six, three, five, eight? Oh, second time's a charm. <gasps> Ooh, our first tape, you guys. Okay, now this game is notorious for cramming most, if not all, of their lore in the VHS tapes. So I am so curious as to what we're gonna see. And I wonder, I wonder if Wooly is gonna be in this game. Not just the demo, but in the full game. Wait, hospital lights? Hi friends, I'm Amanda. Have you ever wanted to go far, far away? Well, we can. At least in our imaginations we can. Aww. With my magic train! Woo! If you could visit anyone in the world, who would you go see? Okay, okay, so this is where it gets interesting. I feel like there's a lot of possibilities. I have a few ideas in my head. I kind of want to try all right now, but I think I'll save that for a second part of the video. In the meantime, we'll go with the obvious, and that is Amanda. Do you really think you could do that? Oh, cool. I love to daydream about all the places I could have been. Think about all the places we can go. Huh, she paraphrased that. Let's plan a trip. I've made pictures of all the places I want to go. Wow. Cool, so Paris, UK, what, what is the other one? But wow, it's so dark in here. Should I open the curtain or turn on the lamp? I feel like opening the curtain will result in a jump scare, but let's try. Oh, wait, what was that? That's much better. Now, let's plan that trip. There are three places I want to go on my magic train today. First, I want to see the Eiffel Tower. Where can I do that? I got you, babe. We are going to Paris. We'll go to Paris first on the magic train. Huh, it looks like a ticket to Paris costs two coins. Lucky. Let's see what I have in my piggy bank. I'd love to go to Paris with two coins. What's the best way to open this piggy bank? I can pull out the plug, or I can smash it! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, no need for violence. Let's just pull the plug. Ah, uh, you're no fun. Excuse you! It's your piggy bank I'm trying to save. Ooh, she ballin'. She just yeeted that. <laughs> Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. I have five coins. And four fingers. That's more than enough for our first stop. We just need to take away two coins. Can you count them? One, two. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. The next place I want to go is very special because it makes me think of our friend Gretchen over there. Oh, I remember her. Let's go to the Isle of Dead Dolls. Where can I find that? Um, I honestly don't know, but I'm just gonna guess. Our next stop is Mexico City. Why? A ticket to Mexico City <gasps> on my magic train. It's there again. Three coins. Um, anyway, that ticket costs three coins, so let's take those away from what we have. One, two, three! Just enough, cool. Oh no, that's all our coins, and I still have one more place I want to visit. Oh. We need some more money. What are we going to do? I can sell one of these for some coins. 
Which one do you think will get us the most coins? Um, this guy looks cute. You really think I can get coins for that old thing? Hey, he looks fine. What's so funny, Mr. Rooster? Someone gave this to me when I was feeling really bad and scared, and it made me laugh. I hope he can go make someone else laugh. Oh, This is kind of sad. Wow, I got three coins from Mr. Rooster. Good for you. Okay, let's see how much our next destination costs. I love learning about history on my trips. Where can I take a tour and learn about Jack the Ripper? Um, why would you be doing that? Isn't he a criminal? We're going to London! A ticket to London is four coins, and I only have three. Yep, it's not meant to be. I don't know where I'm going to get more coins for my trip. We should just abort we mission. Might as well not even go anywhere. That's the spirit! We shouldn't be learning about Wait criminals anyway. I have a coin in my pocket! Ugh. Now I have four! That's enough for our last stop! Oh my god! No, no, no! Go away! Is that a ferret? Get this widow out of here! What? Wait. Oh my gosh, this is so random! What is, what is going on? I'm pressing it! What? Wow, who the heck was that guy? You tell me! He's going to take my coins! Good. All four are still there. Let's count how many we need to pay for the ticket to London. One. That was two, so random. Three, four. Oh hey, it's time to catch my train. All aboard! Choo choo! Wee! This is so fun! This is fun, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's I fun. I wish I really could go see the world. Wait, what is that? Okay, and that was the end of the tape. Okay, okay. There's that noise again. There's that noise again. Oh, oh my god! Oh, Amanda's back. Okay, so that's the demon version of Amanda. Oh my gosh, that is definitely Amanda because it has four fingers as well. Um, hey, uh, thanks. Th th thanks, Amanda. Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll be seeing you. Okay, bye. It gets awfully lonely in here at night. There's a legend that there is a special toy hidden deep in these woods. It makes me think about what <laughs> Okay, which toothbrush do you think I should- I know which one you like! The blue one! <laughs> How did you get- Who even are you? Go away! <laughs> we shouldn't talk about them. I'm Amanda! Hi, I'm Amanda! Hi, friends! And you didn't help me at all! So you'd better find something good for me! But I guess we all get a little scared at night, right? What are you afraid of? <laughs> oh, wow! Okay, that was pretty sick. That was kind of awesome. <laughs> Fall 2024, let's go! I am so hyped for this. Final thoughts on this demo? I think they teased just the right amount of lore. It's unclear, however, if Wooly will make an appearance in the full release since he wasn't made apparent for now. What we can gather though is that the game is as creepy and demented as ever, the story is going to get more elaborate, and I seriously can't wait for the full release. I'm actually going to post a part 2 on this demo to show you guys what would happen if we answer her questions wrongly and get on her nerves. So be sure to leave a like and subscribe to watch part 2 and any other updates to come. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!